Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the full Monty from Leem Monchier and Big Blind Media. All right, so what is the full Monty? It's basically a Monty effect. Now, it's not a three card Monty, it's actually a four card Monty. Uh, and if you don't know what Monty is, it's follow the ace, follow the queen. It's that gambling routine where your spectator tries to find the one indifferent card. Liam has put together a really cool interpretation of this trick, and if you'd like to see the trailer, this is it. So have you girls ever played or seen the old three card Monty? Like, find the uh, lady or chase the ace? Have you ever seen anything like that? No. No? It's like an old street hustle where some guy would have two jokers and a queen, and they mix them up and you have to try and find the queen, and you, you bet okay. money on it. Uh, okay. You know the sort of thing? It's the sort of thing like people know about, but I've never met anyone who's actually had a go because mm -hmm. they know it's a scam, basically. Yeah, yeah. So what I've decided to do is I tried to invent a version that seemed so fair that you'd want to bet on it, right? And it's not a very original idea. All I've done is sort of marked the cards that I was going to use. Yeah. Okay. So the idea of this is that you would keep your eye on the queen. In this case, it's the queen of spades. And that would be the card that you'd point out and win all the money. Um, and you if get you... money. And there's not going to be actual money. <laughs> this does seem a bit unfair, like a bit easy compared to the other ones. And then the jokers would be the losing card. So if you found the queen, you'd win. And if you found one of the jokers, uh, then you'd lose. But because it's a one in four chance and the cards are marked on the back, hypothetically, would you guys be willing to bet on that sort of situation? Yeah, yeah. hypothetically. Hypothetic. Yeah. No yeah. money's changing hands, yeah. don't worry. Uh, the other thing is I could make it even fairer as it's you guys and I know you guys. I'll get rid of one of the jokers. So instead of a one in four chance, it's just a one in three chance. Oh, so nice. you're really in there. <laughs> so uh, what card would you bet on? You guys would bet on the queen card, right? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Okay. Well, that's when I'd have to change it from a game that you can't lose into a game that you can't win. And I do that by just clicking my fingers and asking which of the queen cards uh. you wanted to bet on, right? But of course, it doesn't matter which queen you bet on, it's a scam, because you wouldn't find a queen, you wouldn't find even a joker, because this is a totally different trick that just uses the four aces. Oh my god! There you go. <laughs> and that is the four monster. All right, so that was Liam Montier. Uh, if you don't remember who he is, I've done a lot of uh, reviews for him and Big Blind Media in the past, and I'll put those links in the description below. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get a cardboard sleeve, you're gonna get a DVD, and then you're gonna get the necessary gaff cards uh, to do the trick. You won't need to add any of your own uh, cards to this. Uh, it's completely self-contained. Uh, all you'll need is a little uh, card wallet maybe or something to keep them all together and to have them ready to go in your jacket pocket. Is it what I thought? Uh, you know, originally, uh, seeing the trailer, it did kind of remind me a lot of Gary Freed's NFW, uh, just because it follows that same plot where four identical cards turn into another set of four identical cards. Uh, so it does kind of borrow, I think, a little bit from that plot. However, the secret to this trick is original, and I was pleasantly surprised. How are the angles on this? There are some angle issues, and I'll say uh, something that would be pretty obvious. I think your angles will disappear uh, the more skilled you get at performing this trick. In other words, you're gonna have to pull off your slides and be wary of your angles during the presentation, and it's just gonna come from your knowledge of the trick and your remembrance of the routine that's gonna make those angles vanish, okay? So I would think that a less skilled magician, a less skilled card magician will have some issues with angles, but I think the more you practice this, the better you get at this, the more familiar you are with this plot, your angles will disappear. Can it be inspected? That is the best part of this trick. I mentioned NFW earlier in the trick, and here's the thing, NFW cannot be inspected. You sweep the cards away and you say, ta-da, that's the end of the trick. With Liam's trick, you basically flop the four new cards down on the table and just step back. Spectators can examine everything and best of all, there's no switching. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, this is gonna be shot just like any other big blind media DVD involving Liam Montier. Uh, the sets look identical. His two model spectators have been used in some of his previous DVDs. In fact, I think he's even wearing the same shirt. So it's everything you'd expect from big blind media. There's another aspect of this DVD that I think is worth mentioning, and we'll just chalk this up to teaching. Uh, there's some really great um, vignettes on this that allow you to learn the trick depending on your skill level. So if you have no skill level going into this, there is a version where you watch this, Liam walks you through each one of the slides. 
there's also an experienced magician's explanation where Liam just basically says, and now you do this move, and he doesn't teach it to you, so it makes it go a little faster. There's also a review explanation on this where Liam basically understands that you understand the effect. And it's a great uh, tool to go back and review. Let's say you've been doing this trick for a while and then you put it into a box and you you know forget about it for a couple months or for a holiday or for a season. And then you go back and you say, you know what, I really, I really wanna pick that up again, but I don't remember how it went. You can watch the review video portion of this and it's basically a quick reminder. It's a quick tutorial about how this trick went. You don't have to sit through the, you know, the teaching and explanation all over again to get the gist of it. So that is really cool. All right, so is it well made? Uh, the cards you get are all bicycle stock and will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. How much practice does it require? Uh, this is a trick that involves some serious lights. I will say that. Um, I'll say that it's marketed towards beginners because there is a section where he teaches you all the slights, but I'm also gonna say it's probably gonna work better for you if you're already an intermediate level skilled magician uh, or if you already have some knowledge of card handling. There are some knuckle busters in this and uh, I would say that this is gonna take some practice and some getting used to. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, one of the great things about this teaching DVD is that he actually has a section where he teaches you how to do the reset. Uh, that is so nice and so refreshing. I think a lot of times magicians on DVDs, they fly right past that, they don't mention it at all, or they say, oh, reset's easy, you just have to do this or this or this. And, but Liam actually takes the time to teach you uh, the reset for this, and I think that's a wonderful addition. All right, so what are the positives to the full Monty? You know, like I've been saying, uh, you're gonna get all your cards included. You don't have to add any cards or wreck a deck uh, to, to do this package trick. Uh, it's got a really simple reset, and you end clean. You end clean in a Monty routine that is so awesome and so uh, just refreshing to see uh, that you can end clean. Uh, and the beautiful transition of four alike cards transforming into four different cards, plus the familiarity that your spectators are already gonna have uh, behind the plot. You know, the Monty routine I think is such a familiar plot. So I really think this is a winner. Is it worth your money? It's $25. $25 for a 20 minute DVD. You're gonna get all of your gaffes and cards that you will need and it's all gonna come perfectly ready to go for you. Uh, I think $25 is well within the range of the amount of teaching and the cards that you're getting that are included uh, and the impact that this trick is gonna make. I think you are well in the pocket. You'd head on down to Big Blind Media and pick this up if it sounds like a winner for you. Who would like this? Anybody who does Monty routines already? Anybody who's been doing NFW but is looking for something to upgrade and maybe you know have a big reveal at the end where the spectators get to handle the cards? I think this would be the upgrade to that. Uh, anybody that just loves doing walk around and thinks that this kind of uh, magic would be appealing to them, I think should definitely pick up the full Monty from Liam Montier and Big Blind Media. All right, so that is my review for the full Monty. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can head on down to bigblindmedia.com. And we wanna thank Big Blind Media for providing this review copy for us so that we could review it for you.